Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. We finally have seen this beer. It's a month late. Finally saw it. So we're doing our Born Yesterday video. I don't even usually do weekend uploads, but we're going to do one. So um, I'm not really sure what's going on with Lagunitas. I look forward to this beer every year. Um, but the, the neck of this bottle says it was um, bottled on September 30th. And today is November 3rd, and I'm just now seeing it. I've been looking for it. Um, I don't know what's going on with Lagunitas' distribution. You guys are fucking cooked. It is a bummer. Um, I would have loved to drink this super, super fresh. Like, obviously, a month in the bottle is not a huge deal, but um, when the label says farm to brewery in under 24 hours, and then <laughs> brewery to Southern California in fucking 33 days or whatever it is, it's a bummer. But 7.2% uh, um, Lagunitas is up in... Uh, where are they? Petaluma? They used to be in... Are they still in Chicago? I don't know if they... I think they might have closed it. Um, but yeah, Petaluma. Brewed by Lagunitas and Petaluma. Um, I think this is this year's Simcoe Citra Mosaic and Crush Pops. I think. We uh, just got done watching our favorite football team suck. It was awesome. It's fine. It's a tank year for them. Um, but I will say, we are... Uh, into the first weekend of November, and it has been awesome so far. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of you guys who have donated so far. Um, it means the world to me. So I very much appreciate you. Um, there is a link in the description of this video below. Uh, if you guys are able, please consider donating. It is something that's near and dear to me. Um, we are really, really close to getting to that $10,000 mark. So um, that would be amazing to do that this year. So anyways... Let's get into the beer, shall we? Um, this beer looks hazy this year. Sometimes it's hazy, sometimes it's clear. I can see my finger uh, through the glass. Maybe it's a chill haze, but this is definitely not super, super clear. Um, it is an awesome, like, sunshiny yellow. Finger of bright white head. I've said it in years past. This is my favorite fresh hop beer of all time. Um, it has always, for years, been my trick-or-treating beer. Whenever we would go with the boys, I always had um, some born yesterday. I enjoy it, you know typically all throughout the month of October, but we didn't get to drink it this year in October. So here we are in November, hopefully going to enjoy it. I mean, it still smells ridiculously explosive. It is so tropical. Um, it is like that strawberry blueberry thing with tons of citrus. It's like candied hops. Um, this had to have smelled just incredible, like super, super fresh, because even, like I said, a month in the bottle, it smells fantastic. It's crackery, sweet, but just loads and loads of hop. Let's go and taste it. Cheers. Did we say it's 7.2%? That's delicious. Uh, that's like hop candy. It tastes like if you made hard candy out of hops. Um, think like Jolly Ranchers, hop flavored. <laughs> um, it's like blueberry, strawberry, some sort of like red berry right at the front of your tongue. Um, as it goes across your palate, you're hit with like orange juice, like sweet orange juice, but maybe like, you know, tangerine California cutie-ish. Um, there's a nice like punch of bitterness, middle of your tongue, doesn't linger. Um, it's a little grassy. Uh, it's got like a little bit of like a dank characteristic and then it's this cool like crusty sourdough bread um, sweetness on the finish. Um, listen, I I love this beer uh, and every year I look forward to it. This batch is fantastic. I'm just bummed um, at the distribution of this. I don't understand. And I've talked to a bunch of buddies here in Southern California. Nobody has seen it. My one buddy Jared um, up north saw it last week, I think for the first time. So even in Northern California, I don't know what happened. I have no idea. The distro of this is weird. Fucking, uh, I think it was, Dan, it was either, was it Dan or yeah, Dan from FLX Experience. <laughs> like check this into untapped. I'm like, you're in fucking New York and you have this before I have it in Southern California. It's wild. Uh, but this is another fantastic batch of this beer. Does not drink like 7.2%. Um, the mouth feels nice. It's spritzy. It's just so tropical, so drinkable with just, it's like such an awesome um, blend of like new school East Coast and old school um, West Coast IPA with like that dankness and that bite. Um, but the, the hops in this, like it's just the candy part of the hops. Um, we've talked about how these days, like 
you're drinking when you drink i mean this isn't a clear beer but when you're drinking like crystal clear west coast ipas the new school ones they taste like a hazy beer in clear form um, which is awesome because it doesn't feel taxing it's not heavy that's what this is this is world-class stuff so born yesterday stays goaded for the shelfy beer um fresh hot beer this uh this year's vintage is fantastic i love it so um 12.99 for a six pack i mean that value for this beer seems unfuckwithable to me but i don't know what are you guys paying for this i feel like i mean 12.99 for a six pack of fresh hot beer fucking awesome lagunitas has always had great price points like when we're getting ready to see willitized i think um even those six packs of barrel aged stouts is like 12 or 13.99 so um yeah anyways that is it appreciate you guys watching see you soon cheers Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade, all that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.